Learning to tell a story and being creative with storytelling is a great exercise you can do with your kids and I have a whole bunch of ideas and inspirations so that you can do it too. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from The Purple Alphabet and we are gonna be talking about many different ways that you can include your kids and creative ways to do storytelling. If you're new around here, make sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on what we do. I talk about all kinds of educational activities you can do with your kids and ideas and inspirations so you can learn through play. This summer, I wanna work on creative storytelling with my kids. So here's some activities that I came up with that you can do at home too. I wanted to give you some different options that you could use for different age children. So watch the whole video and then pick and choose what would really work for the skill level of your child. I'm gonna start with some things that you can do for oral storytelling, meaning you're not gonna be writing anything down, you're just gonna be orally telling a story or making up stories, which is probably the most basic level. I recently found these felt puppets. They are right now at the Target dollar spot. I did them in my shop with me in my haul the other day. They're a good price. They're not the best quality um, the, for the price, but they're $3. I had several different themes. This one is a Super Pals. This one is Little Red Riding Hood, but these are great ways to engage, especially the younger children, into creating stories, especially of the ones that already have a story attached to them, like Little Red Riding Hood. It's kind of a story that's already known, and so your child can relate to it and act out the story because they already know it. And then once you've kind of experimented with that, you can move on to stories that they don't necessarily know and can make up on their own. This one's really cute, it has a cape. Oh, I didn't notice that. And then you can go from there. So you might already have some puppets around the house. If you don't, you can check out Target, or if you want, you can just use stuffed animals. Another idea and thought is to use the little figurines that you might already have. Once again, you can use familiar characters, like I have the Peppa Pig ones here, to act out stories, and you can combine it with one of the storybooks or the TV shows and act out the story that way. I also have them in Daniel Tiger, and in Paw Patrol, and in Finding Nemo. You know what, you guys, if you're looking for some really great figures, I'll put them in my Amazon store, so you can go and check out some of the things that I found there that you could use as props for storytelling. These are just some of the ones that I have, and you can do engaging stories with. I've shown you these story card sets before, and many, 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 many times. They came from the Target dollar section and what they are is a stack of cards that have pictures on one side and that's it. And these pictures are meant to be shown to tell stories or to give prompts to tell a story orally. I'm just gonna go through some of the pictures here. You can do this several different ways. You can make it a game. You could just make it flip over a card and add on to the story. Uh, you can have your child pick their favorite cards and make a story out of them. This particular one is in, in a C theme and then I have this one over here which is like a cowboy theme or a Western theme. I haven't seen them in the Target dollar, dollar section recently, but they do come back from time to time. They're just a really helpful tool to visually clue in the child to prompt them to come up with a story. If I find something similar, I'll definitely put that in my Amazon store too. There's a product out called Story Cubes, which is a very, very similar concept to the cards in which they are dice that have different pictures on each side. So you can roll them and come up with a story, write a story, and they have different pictures and you can interpret them in the same way. So kind of a fun take on the cards and your child can come up with anything that's based on the roll of a die. You can get really creative in the ways that you use the story cube. So there's lots of different possibilities. And I like that there's a big variety in these. Right now at Chick-fil-A, they're actually giving away a giant one. There are a couple that we've accumulated over the weeks and they're very similar they just have come one to the pack in the in the um, kids meal and it's the same concept they have different pictures on each side and that you can draw a story from here is a story object tray that I made myself so I went around and found little objects that I could put inside this tray to do the same thing it's kind of more of the Montessori side of things so for instance this item which is a crown might do the same thing that that story card would or that die so you can make up a story all about this crown or you can pull another one out another object to make a story so these are kind of inspirational things plus they're tangible and concrete pulled some rocks here these are just erasers this item is from another game these are from tubes so you know those safari ltd tubes that's where this one came from as did this one so they were part of other activities i had and i just put them together in one tray here this came from a lakeshore learning game this was another safari tube and i think this came from a lakeshore learning game too so you can present this to the child and have them come up with 
stories using the objects inside the tray. When coming up with ideas for this video on creative storytelling, I realized that a really fun idea would be to use stamps. So this set is a Melissa and Doug set and it has all kinds of animal stamps in it. And you could supply this with a stamp pad and then maybe a blank book. Right now Target has these eight for $3. Um, they're a little bit different size, but they're just books that are put together with nothing on the pages. And so you can stamp out a visual story and have your child tell you about what they've stamped or stamp along as they tell the story. Presenting the stamps to them and having them come up with a story based upon the stamp that they're presented to. But if you have a writer, they could also stamp out a scene and then write about that scene. It's just a great way to reuse these stamps that I'm sure you have sitting on the shelf. Since we're talking about written stories now, kind of moving up in the skill level, if your child's able to actually write sentences and words and, and that sort of thing, you might want to consider this set from Lakeshore Learning. I bought it a couple months ago. I'm experimenting with it. It's a lot of fun. It's called the Trace and Write Story Stencils. I've showed it to you before, I believe, in my Lakeshore Learning Store haul. But basically, they are stencils. So you do kind of a drawing, and then there's a word bank over here on the side of all the words that you could use in a story or in a sentence. And so what's great is to use a notebook or a blank book, like the Target blank books. Um, this one came from Dollar, yeah, Dollar Tree a couple years ago, but you can find them at many different places. If I find them on Amazon, I can put that in the store too. And there's just a blank spot at the top to draw a picture, which is where you would put your, your butterfly there. And then you can write about it down here in all of the ruled paper and do a sentence or a story. Just kind of depends on the level of your child using all of the word bank here. So now they're also learning new vocabulary. It's right there to give them some ideas on what to write about. This kit comes with 30 stencils inside for grades two, for grades K through two. So there's lots of different possibilities in here. You could even do a full on story page by page by page just by using these stencils. If you like the idea of using the notebook with a picture and some lined paper, you might also wanna try using some flashcards. Cause if you pull out a flashcard, this one is a set of animal flashcards that we used to do animal magnet matching with. You can develop a whole story based upon this one picture. You can talk about this picture. You can describe it. You can do different kinds of sentences or uh, words with just the one flashcard. All of these right now, once again, are at Target for a dollar. If you have some magazines laying around, which I do not, but I do have some coloring books, which would work just as well. But if you have magazines laying around, you can pull out one picture, one page, and do the same thing as you would the story cards, write a story about one of the scenes. So what is going on in the scene with these dogs, write about it, make up a story. You could even switch the page to see if it changes the story, talking about something new. If you guys remember my whole video about what to do with these Dollar Tree magnet sets, I have another idea for them. And actually, it can be any magnets, honestly. This is the set that I pulled out to use. It was a set of words and pictures and colors and different things like that. I just put it in the case to organize it, but I like it because it does have words and it does have pictures. That's an ant, here's a cat. And so you can use these and develop a story based upon what gets pulled out of the case or what gets put on a magnetic board and write a story based on those. These actually came from Dollar Tree. They are blank books as well, similar to the concept at um, the Target Dollar Spot with the blank books, but these have a place to put an illustration on for the cover and then they have some lines inside. It's just one page, but you get several to a pack for the dollar. So it might be a great option for the younger kids, but pull out those magnets that you might have of different animals or different colors or different pictures and then see what you can be inspired to write a story about. These little books are called My Sight Word Journal. They're from Lakeshore Learning too. Very affordable. They are spiral bound books at under $4 for the book, but they're great because you have a whole word bank on here with the picture so your child knows what that word says if they don't know many of their sight words. But then inside there are different story prompts. So it's very similar to that notebook from Dollar Tree where you had the blank spot in the writing down here. But this one actually has a prompt on each page that encourages your child to write a sentence about one of those pictures in the word bank. So they would pick one picture over here, draw it over here, and then write the sentence down here. It's a great starting point too because it does all of the work for you. So you don't really have to think about what to write. And it just is very helpful for your child who also doesn't know what to write. Great tool in writing a story. If you have any suggestions on how you can do creative storytelling with your kids, leave them down below. I love your suggestions. Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and to give me a thumbs up to show your love.